Hey, I'm sorry I'm running into minor problems. SD card is full. Videos and pictures will now be um, transferred to internal storage. Well, I did try to fix it, but I forgot. Anyways, I want to tell you a surprise. You're not going to believe what this, this brand new APX, Beretta APX, that I got yesterday. I mean, that I started using yesterday. You're not going to believe what happened. The reason on steel shots, steel BBs, it started shooting accurate now. For some reason, I don't know if it was me yesterday, the mood I was in, but I started shooting whenever I feel like I, want, I need to shoot. It's like I'm going by my conscience. Instead of just trying to hit it by holding it a certain way. Would you believe I kept hitting it straight and I missed like two or three times and then four times and went, you know what happened? This, hold on. Boy, I tell you, I sure had it close. It don't matter now. I put a rock inside it because, you know, you can hear the wind blowing. I got 75% battery charge. I'm going to have to cut this video kind of short. You see that rock in there? You see the distance from, would you believe I had this thing all the way over here? I kept hitting it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or maybe a few more times. Guess what? That pistol, them tiny ass BBs are actually shoving this heavy jug off of the, off of the uh, bucket. I don't know how much that rock weighs, but it, as I keep hitting it, you can hear that loud smash. It's actually pushing it. I could see, I could see it happening a little bit. I could tell it's happening because I could see some of that blue surface on the jug. The only one that, uh, yeah, I, I started out this first. I started with this first, but this didn't, this wasn't strong enough to push it off uh, in semi mode, like this. Excuse me. In semi. But this one, this brand new Beretta APX was actually pushing that jug with the, uh, that rock weighted down. I mean, that's like almost a pound for something that small. It just kept, it just kept pushing it forward and forward until it falls over. I never seen after all these this time. I've been shooting different guns. I never seen this one did it before. And this one's been hitting pretty constantly powerful, but this one hits pretty good, but I don't know how this one caught up to this. I don't know what, you know, I don't know how I did it, but I'll try it again though. Um, I was using a pair of gloves, but I don't know why I keep forgetting. There it is. Yeah, the wind stopped blowing now. When a jug is empty, you could understand that any gun We'll actually push it off the, the table or whatever because it's it's um pressure it's velocity the thing is uh, when you put a rock inside of it that rock isn't small at all you know it's kind of heavy it's almost as big as this gun but it's it's got it's dense it's not hollow so how the hell did they do that i don't know i'll try it again I don't know if I have enough shots left. Might have to. Yeah, the wind's kind of shaking me. See, it's pushing my arm sideways. I'll try it. Missed it. I came close. I hit it. It didn't hit hard enough. Though. Yeah, hit it. Yeah, I saw it. The last shot hit it. It went sideways a little bit. It's going sideways but forward. Man, this wind is killing me, man. Sorry. Let me stop. I'm going to go ahead and reload. Or oh, something. The wind current. The wind current is brutalizing me, man. I got to wait for it to slow down. I think I got one more left. I don't know. 
Nah, it's shoving the jug. It's shoving the jug um, right north. East north. I'll try it again if I can. What the hell? I didn't hear anything or feel anything coming out. Now it is. That's sec that's two magazines right there. I'm gonna finish shoving it off the bucket. I thought I had the black diamonds in there, but the steel one started to get more accurate for some reason. I don't know what's going on. This change is happening in the gun. Yeah, I heard a lot of bad reviews about... I heard bad reviews about this one. I did see a lot of good reviews at first. So I seen bad one. Actually, I selected the one that said, Don't buy. They have other ones. Great gun. This and that. It had mostly good runs, but it had a few bad ones. I think somebody's not using these pistols, I mean these revolvers and pistols right. He said it's going all over the place and he tried to... I think he tried to um, clean the barrel out. Depends on how he did it. If you're not smart and intelligent on how to treat these things right, and you just go ahead and slap it up, it's, it's going to mess up. I've heard people, they complain too fast and said that it's a manufacturer's fault. They don't realize that um, they're, they're just roughing that gun up. That's the reason why it won't work so right. Man, this wind is acting crazy, man. It's blowing right now. I'm pretty sure you could hear it. You could probably hear it. Let me just wait a couple of seconds or so. I'm going to try to shoot it with all the gloves. That was what, three magazine? Shit. Remember yesterday, I said, West inside the gloves on, you can't see it. On this APX, oh shit. I'm, on this bread APX, I see the, the construction crews over the other side. I was pointing the gun towards them. I forgot about that. Um, on this APX, just like every pistol, you usually hold it like that, right? Your finger usually covers the triggering uh, on every other gun. But on this one, since it's kind of different, I don't know. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm different. That's the reason why I shoot like this. Whenever I hold, since the trigger, so you, you see how wide the trigger is, the front, all that space. Since it has all that space, I'm holding the tip of it like this. I'm using the tip of my finger and squeezing it. That's how I hit it. Because if I, if I pull it like this, the shots are just going to go left, right, or something like that. That's what I'm having a problem with. I'll try going. No, this wind, this wind is kicking me around, man. It's pulling my arm too hard. You see, it's, it's blowing me right now. I got to wait. You see, I'm pressing it right now. Yeah, oh shit, whoa, I saw that thing shake, man, I saw it shake, I saw it shake, nah, it wobbled and then dropped, I know I saw it move, yeah, it came off, that big old heavy rock inside it. like almost three pounds or something man i don't know i would hate to be on the receiving end of any one of them things i don't want to know and not only that 
I tried taking this out. You see this um, pellet? This is a pellet. That's the rear end, that's a skirt. That's the front, the nose. The nose of the pellet is halfway in there. And I don't know if you can see it, hold up. The nose is right there. You see that dot? Right there. That's not a hole. That's the front part of the pellet. Guess which one did it? I'm gonna put this all the way back over here. I'm gonna put it all the way back over there. I'm gonna show it to you. I, I can't really pull the gun out right here because they got one of them construction guys over there. See? You see that Toyota Avalon and that forklift, right? This actually did it. About something like 33 feet or 35. This did it. With just. Man, this wind is crazy, man. Hold on a second. Strictly pellets in there. Strictly pellets, no BBs. That's a skirt. I'll go ahead and give it a try. I don't know. This one might even shove it off the, the thing there, but I don't know. I'll try it. The thing is, when it comes to this revolver, the, accurate, the accuracy is poor as hell. Yeah. It sounds kind of quiet. You did hit it. Yeah, hit it again. It smashed even harder. That's good. Yes. I didn't even miss once. I hit it three times. I thought I was going to miss. Yeah, it hit the top right. Right at the lid. The rim. Oh, that one was loud. This one did pretty good this time. Oh. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's it. It's finished. All of them hit it. Let me, I hope. I just checked the barrels a while ago. Let me, hold up. Yes, they're all empty. Every one of them hit that bucket. All of them. I did not miss. I don't know how. I mu it must be some kind of supernatural luck. Because this wind is blowing like probably 30 miles an hour. I mean, it doesn't feel too strong, but you see the way, you know, everything's going. Man, I can't believe it. Both of these guns just did pretty good. This one did pretty good. This one did the best, as a matter of fact. This one may not be as strong as that. This is actually 400 feet per second. This is 395. That's only five feet weaker, but it still hits pretty hard. This one did better than this, but this kind of impressed me because the accuracy was okay today. For some strange reason, I had this thing sitting like, uh, I think it was like 24 hours. I had it sitting the whole day, and it's the CO2 is, hasn't been used, and all of a sudden, it's like hitting accurate. Yesterday, this one messed up kind of horrible, but today, it did pretty good. It did two things better. This one kind of messed up today. It hit, it did a little okay at the beginning, but it started to miss a little bit and put it on full auto, it didn't really hit it. But you know, most of the way, the last four days since, uh, since this thing came back from the dead, like I said, since this thing got, um, came out of hibernation, not, not, not from the dead. It came out of hibernation since the last seven years. It's been sleeping for seven years and, you know, it started it started shooting like it was born yesterday. So, um, I guess maybe I wasn't paying attention, but it did pretty good. This, it hasn't messed up. It's just, it didn't shoot accurate because I didn't hold a gun right or something. But this one right here blows me away. This one, all of the shots... All of the shots, the entire barrel hit that bucket. Let me go up forward and see what it looked like. I don't believe this. The wind is kicking me around, but why am I getting lucky? Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have a lucky shot, right? Guess what? 
You remember that stud that I show you? I, I showed you. There's a second one at the bottom. There's a second one at the bottom. Yes, here it is. Here it is. Two penetrations. It only had one. It only had one right here. Since the last four days when I first used it, one right here. And now, since I emptied the entire barrel, one penetrated right there. There you have it. It's stuck part way inside. Do not underestimate the sound and the looks of that revolver. It is scary as hell. It sure sounds measly and pathetic. But the way, you know, trying to pull that thing out with your hand, try and pull it out of your flesh or your bone when it hits you. Man, I tell you, this one I don't want to underestimate it either. This gun looks spiff, so clean, so intense. It looks a little better, slightly better, and a little bit more comfortable than the, the Omer X9 XP. This one, I'm kind of scared to shoot it because it keeps disappointing me. But it did pretty good today. All of the shots hit it. Alright, let me go get more pellets for that. I need. I don't want that one sitting around. This one is starting to get used, but it's only, this one is only 24 hours old. It's only one day old. Actually, you could say one day and 10 hours old. That's it. Ah, shit. Man, I hope I didn't mess up the video. It fell. Yo, let me go get more pellets, all right? I mean, I didn't pull the can out, so. Y'all can look at a gun while I'm walking away. Put it in something else. It's in the box. Hold up. Oh shit. Alright. It took me a while to find it because I put it back in a I put it in another box. Sorry about that. Alright. Here it is. I still got enough pills left. Let me um I'm gonna get on my knees, man. Hold up.
Oh yeah, you remember? You remember one of them videos when I said, um, I dropped this in the parking lot? Yeah, well, it seemed like nothing real didn't happen to it. You know, it's like, there goes a chip right here. Hold up, there it is. This thing is like, how old was it? I think it was two days old. Yeah, two days old. But it's like five days old now. And the top part got scratched somewhere. The sight got scratched a little bit. Yeah. Well, it's still in perfect shape and it just put on a 100% performance just now. The part that really interests me the most just now is that it penetrated the jug the second time. Actually, the first time when I used it, it, it went right through the jug and sat in it. One of them pellets actually passed into the jug, but the second one, the second one got stuck, and then the third one just now got stuck. I'll try it again. I was hoping to try the black diamonds in it, but I'll, I'll go ahead and mess with this one for right now. Hey, this wind is like flying hard, man. It's like... Hold on for a second. Let me, if you don't mind, let me check something. Oh, shit. Already cut. You know what? Let me finish it. I was going to look at that jug to see if this pellet gun actually pushed it off. It probably didn't. Oh, man, I missed it. I cleared the top. Let me lower it. Shit, I missed it again. Look like I'm lousy now. I don't, I don't have no confidence. I missed it. Look like I lost this one. Yeah, I hit it that time. Yeah, see, the friggin' wind's messing me up, man. I can't help it. You see all them trees moving right there? Look. You probably can't see it. The trees are bending hard. See, my arm's going like that. I can't, I can't do it. Make a bad time to do it. Or maybe I better wait. It's going on to 22 minutes. Let me try it. Wait for it to slow down. I sneaked one. Nah, I probably ain't got none. Nah, it's empty. All of them missed. Oh, one of them hit. One of them hit, all of them missed. I'll go ahead and work on this one for right now. This one, I should be good. I'll save this one for later, but I ain't gonna stay out here for long. It's too, I don't know, weather. It's too breezy, man. I'll probably just do the Umrex. Uh, what do you call it? The Beretta. I'll just do the Beretta and the... I was warming up on the the Steel Force um, M4 machine gun. Oh, shit. Man, I hurt my hands. I'm hurting my hands. Shit. Yeah, I wanna I wanna warm up this this uh I wanna warm up and 
get used to this revolver, man, because I don't know. I don't want to see it go to waste. What is that? Two. This is three. This is three barrels. I mean, um, three. Sh what do you call it? Try it. I might as well just stretch my legs out part like this. This wind is like friggin' heavy as hell, man. I'm gonna try squeeze the handle this time. Shit. Oh, I see it now. It's going far to the left. Yeah, hit it that time. I just saw the jog move. Yeah, hit it. Hold up. Alright, the same thing. I hit it twice. <sighs> that was quick. I think I know my weakness now. I need to squeeze the handle tight. Squeeze the handle real tight. Like I want to break it. Squeeze the handle like you want to break it. This this thing ain't going nowhere. Nobody's hand is ever that strong. Alright, reload again. Squeeze the handle like you're trying to break it and shoot. This way you, you get more accuracy. Hold on a second. I'll put it somewhere I can lean up. I'm going to kneel down on the floor. Temperature and everything is right. It's just that the wind is blowing too hard. Damn. Shit. Oh, man. Put it to use. Put it to use. Shit. I've been shooting I've been shooting a hundred pellets or more so far. A hundred pellets. I've been shooting pure pellets and no BBs. I only shot BBs. I don't think I did. I probably did, I don't remember. Yeah, I did. I shot BBs once, but I shot pellets like a hundred times. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, I'll go ahead. Yeah. Sure, sure. Thanks. All right. Let me go ahead Shit. Yeah, I was right. I was right. I tried not to do it when people was out here, but the thing is, that parking lot was kind of busy. A cop said, "Um, I can't do that when people out here." That's that's the reason why I said, whenever I walk up to that target, I always put the guns back here. Right. So I don't want to do it anyways. Shoot. Hold up. Put this. Let me reload this back and see if I can put it. Oh shit. Alright. I think I think this one it did pretty good today. For some strange reason. It even dropped on the floor. It dropped on the floor and then it started working a little better. I don't know why. And this one dude was complaining about the handle being loose. And then he said, oh yeah, you're right. I see what he's talking about. He also said that the hammer was loose when you don't cock it. Yeah, it's going to be that way because it's being used. You got to expect that. Yo, I think my ear time is pretty good enough. 20, 30 minutes is good. I gotta come back in the next, uh, 
I'm gonna wait for the crew to move. I'm gonna come back the next couple of, what do you call it, few hours. And right now, this gun is not, I mean, excuse me. This camera is not really in, sh the cell phone is not really in shape because two times it had to move some of the videos and pictures into the next, um, what do you call that thing again? It had to move it into the next storage. So I gotta work real hard to try and figure out how to um, divide, you know, like separate the SIM card from the storage and see where it goes. Cause this thing just shorted out on me like last night, like twice. But the thing is, it's working now, so I, I'm gonna cut it for 30 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and try to clear this phone up. All right, I'll come back later.